Hey, what's up everybody? Chevy Dave here with a look at a brand new 2019 Traverse. These are just now starting to kind of hit our lot. So the uh, Traverse, since they redesigned them in 2018, was probably one of our better sellers. We could not keep these things in stock. By the time we would get one in, it was either sold or we had to dealer trade it for another one that was already sold. So it wasn't often that we actually had one even on the lot for customers to look at. They, they sold so quickly. So in 2019, since they just redesigned them in 2018, they didn't change a lot as far as adding any new features or anything like that. They basically just kind of changed some of the packages around and they are coming out with a new RS model, which is kind of interesting. Um, I can't wait to get one in to kind of take a look at that with the RS model there, it's gonna be a 2.0 turbo uh, four cylinder turbocharged engine instead of the typical V6 that most of the Traverses have. And then this one is actually what they call an LT leather now. It used to be a three LT. So we ordered quite a few three LTs because there wasn't that much difference between an LT model and a Premier in the 2018s. But of course, GM caught on to that. So they've kind of changed that up a little bit and there's a few things that you cannot get on the 3LT that you can get on the Premieres. So let's take a quick closer look at the interior of this. They've of course still got the push button lock and unlock feature. So it's all keyless and then you got the remote start keyless entry and then also the keyless trunk release as well. You got your power windows, power mirrors, power locks, and then you still have down here the control to set the uh, height and uh, to open up the rear hatch. And like I said, this is a what they call LT leather now, which is, used to be a 3LT. So here's a just a little quick walk and quick look at the interior. All right, they still got the two captain's chairs in the second row along with the third row bench. And then they still have the rear controls as well for the uh, climate controls and also the USB ports down there. And then as far as the rear hatch, it still has the remote capability to pop the rear hatch. On the premieres, they have the option for the little bow tie down here where you can basically just kind of kick your foot underneath and open it up, which a lot of times it takes you a few a few tries to get that right. So you end up kind of looking a little dumb trying to figure out exactly where to kick to get that open. But here's a look in the back. It does have the seats, of course, do fold down. They do have a little cigarette lighter, 12 volt outlet back here as well. And then here's a look at the storage compartment down here, which is quite a bit deeper than what like the GMC, the older Acadias and the older Traverses are, which they had that in the 2018s as well. And then GM, GM also did a lot of research on this. So uh, on the passenger side, the second row, they designed this seat to move forward as much as possible. So you can really see the big difference as far as how much room there is to get into the uh, third row here. They did that for a reason on this seat. You can actually still have a car seat in here and it's still gonna, a front facing car seat, and it's still gonna move up quite a bit. So GM realized that when most people pick up their kids from school, they always basically have you drive around the loop and you pick up the kids on the passenger side because of safety issues. They don't want the kids running in and out of traffic. So they know that most of the kids are gonna enter in through here. So that's why they changed it on this seat, the capability to be able to move that seat up as far as possible in order to get make it easier for them to get into that third row. So like I said, this is what they call a LT leather now, which used to be a three LT model. So they have the LLS and then the one LT, which is the cloth interior. And then they have this one, which is the LT or the three or LT leather, which is the three LT. They're coming out with that new RS version which is basically the uh, uh, sportier edition. Plus then they have the Premier and then the High Country as far as the models of 
the traverses this year. Let's take a look at, a little closer look at the inside and you can see some of the stuff that is kind of on different packages as well. All right, so here's a closer look at the interior of the vehicle. So the one thing that uh, you have to go up to a Premier now in order to get is gonna be the heated steering wheel. They do not offer that on the leather LT package anymore. You have to go up to a Premier or the High Country in order to get the heated steering wheel on it. They still kept the auto start stop feature so that basically registers if the vehicle is in front of you or, or if you're at a stoplight that it will basically shut the engine off and then re-engage it uh, once you basically take your foot off the brake and put it back on the accelerator as well. Another big thing that they changed, uh, you have to go of course up to the Premier or High Country in order to get the air conditioned seats. You do have the heated seats which you can get in the LT and the uh, LT leather as well. One other feature is the backup camera. So in order to do the bird's eye backup camera, you have to upgrade the package basically to uh, get navigation and uh, basically what they call it is an LT premium package. So you get the navigation, the Bose premium sound system, you get the rear camera mirror, and then also the surround vision, which is the bird's eye view as far as the uh, option where it gives you the full 360 degree over here of the whole vehicle. So that was one major change for the 3LT before you're able to get it on a 3LT, but now with the LT leather, you have to get that package with the navigation and everything in order to get that feature for the um, for the bird's eye. And then also it, it has the camera, backup camera as well back there for uh in that package the surround sound or the surround vision is what they call it so those are some of the major things uh in in order to get the you can get the power the sunroof of course in the 3lt it is an option and then it also with a second row skylight as well but i'm just gonna kind of pan around and kind of show you everything as far as other than that, not much has really changed on the Traverses compared to the 2018, 2019. They basically just added that new model and then basically changed some of the package features and ordering features. So once again, this is Chevy Dave here at Dyn Chevrolet. Thank you for checking out my video. And I am gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison between a Premier 2018 Traverse and this Traverse as well. So check that out. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel right over here. Leave me a thumbs up if you like this video and drop me a comment and let me know what you think of the all, all new, well, not really all new, but the brand new 2019 Chevy Traverse. So once again, this is Chevy Dave here at Dyn Chevrolet, about 40 miles east of St. Louis in the Metro East area. We are a small town dealership with the big deals. Come see me. I make car buying great again. Thank you for checking out this video and have a wonderful day.